In this short Cinema 4D video, I'm just going to teach you a quick method on how to model a chain. Uh, so let's just get started. First thing we want to do is uh, create our cloner. So we're going to go up to the MoGraph menu and choose cloner. And we're going to change the name of it to something like uh, main chain. And just hit enter. And the next thing we're going to do is go up to our spline menu here. And we're going to choose a rectangular spline and just change a little bit of the dimensions down here and the width and the height. The width we're going to try 225 and the height is going to be 125 and we're going to change the orientation to the Z oh, to the XZ and uh, we're going to also check off rounding and actually 5 angle 5 looks pretty okay we might bump that up to 6 uh, let's try 6 Okay, and um, we're going to drop this rectangle uh, spline into a sweep nerve. So you could just hold down Alt, and if you click on your sweep nerves here, you can see that it automatically drops the rectangle into the sweep nerves. And um, the next thing we want to do is add a circle to that. So we can hold down the Shift key and also choose our spline menu here and choose Circle. And you're going to see that also makes it a child of the sweep nerves. Uh, but we're going to lower the radius down big time to, uh, I think it's going to be about uh, 15, 16. That kind of looks about the right uh, width for a chain link. Uh, and now it's just basically as simple as cloning this uh, a bunch of times. So we're going to grab our sweep nerves and we're going to just drop it under our main chain and as make it a child. And you can see it's cloning in the uh, Y direction here, which is not what we want. So we're going to go into our cloner. And we're going to choose uh, down here where it says in the Y, we're going to make that zero. And we're going to go up to the X position. And we're going to do maybe 150. Uh, kind of looks okay. We'll start with there. Uh, but down here where it says step rotation, uh, we're going to make this one 90 degrees. We need to, every other one needs to be 90 degrees. So, okay, there's our chain link, but it looks a little bit too far. Uh, that's where this comes back into play. So maybe bump this up to 200. And that's kind of looking okay, but it intersects a little bit. So we're going to maybe make that a little bit less. Maybe 180. Nope, too small. 190. Nope. Let's try 195. That should be okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, and now basically just increase your count to however many that you're looking for to get your chain linked fence or uh, chain links, I should say. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. They're very easily editable with Dynamics, so uh, you could have this thing laying pretty realistically in just a matter of minutes. So uh, that's just a quick way to model yourself uh, a chain.